观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看本周的完美主义，我是主持人收放林思雨。今天呢，我们来到了位于 UCLA 附近的 Hammer Museum， 来看意大利先锋艺术的著名女性艺术家 Marisa Merz 的个人展。那这个展呢，也是 Hammer Museum 最新的一个展，让我们一起来走进 Marisa Merz 的艺术人生。Hi, my name is Leslie Cozy. I'm a former curatorial associate here at the Hammer Museum, and I had the very great pleasure of working on Marisa Mertz's "The Sky Is a Great Space" with the chief curator Connie Butler at the Hammer Museum and Ian Altavier, who is a curator of modern and contemporary art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Hi, Leslie. How are you doing today? Good. Happy to be here. Good. We're so good to be here. So first, can you give us a general overview of this exhibition? Sure. So this is a 60-year retrospective of the life and work of Marisa Mertz. Uh, who was a very significant figure in the Italian neo-avant-garde movement known as mm. Arte Povera. Mm. Uh, she was really one of the few Italian women artists to mm. exhibit uh, prominently on the international scene. Yes. Um, and she's never had a major retrospective in the U.S., so this is really the first opportunity for audiences wow. to see mm -hmm. um, the quite remarkable arc and trajectory of her career. Yeah, and it's, I, I see that it's actually a really big gallery. Yeah. And so let's just actually walk around it and see what's, what's in here. So you walk into this fountain, which is a sort of indication of some of the work that she would make slightly later in her career in, in the 1990s, um, as she was starting to experiment with ideas of um, sound and duration and integrating those concepts into the work of art. So another really important early work that we've kind of given some prominence to is this um, work that's in Italian, it's referred to as an alcalena, or a swing. Mm. Um, and it's actually, it's a sculpture, but it's actually a swing that she had in her house mm. um, that, her, that she made for her daughter when her daughter was young. Mm. Uh, her daughter was born in 1960, and her, the earliest works in the show are from 1966. Mm -hmm. um, so she was making her work as she was taking care of her daughter, and that the sort of daily rhythms of her life as a mother really inflected her work mm -hmm. and is part of the reason why her work is so important because mm -hmm. she was really one of the first artists to experiment with um, sort of breaking down the boundary between life and art mm -hmm. and, and really integrating um, personal content into the work. Mm -hmm. So this uh, first room really focuses on the monumental early sculptures of um, the 1960s. Mm -hmm. uh, so these large aluminum pieces were uh, made in 1966, um, though they continued to be sort of added to and remade and, and exhibited in different configurations um, for, for many, many years really, um, probably for a decade and a half at least. There's a mix within the work always of a, of a kind of soft and a hard or a kind of living and inanimate that she really um, balances quite beautifully and quite poetically. This is a sort of second uh, gallery within the, within the larger exhibition right. space. Well, so this is an interesting piece because she's exhibited it in different ways. It was actually included um, in the recent exhibition at Hauser, Worth & Schimmel, the Revolution in the Making, the exhibition on women's sculpture, women sculptors. Um, but it was exhibited on the wall without the rusted copper pipes and the triangles were just sort of nested on the wall. Um, and it's also been exhibited in other forms in a, in a 1981 exhibition. It was kind of um, strung like a pendant and it was on the wall and then, and then or it was sort of strung from the wall to the floor. So it's, it's sort of indicative of how really her practice is always in flux. She very rarely dates her works, she very rarely gives titles to her works, and she often recombines pieces into different installations. So this gallery um, has some examples of the sculpture that Marisa Mertz started making in the late 70s, early 80s, around the time that she started experimenting with mm -hmm. drawing. Mm -hmm. 
this is one of my favorites. Um, the eyes of this little figure are actually two little cut out pieces of bubble wrap that she's sort of affixed to the top. Huh. So, it, you know, she throughout has these very delicate gestures where she just, you know, takes a material that's kind of surprising and, and transforms it into something, you know, magical, taking the pedestrian and really making it poetic. Is it a pair of shoes? <laughs> it is actually a pair of shoes, a little pair of booties. It's, they're, in Italian, they're referred to as scarpette, which are booties or little shoes. Oh. And she made several of these, and she would integrate them into different works. You'll see there's one sort of on that uh, table sculpture over there. Um, right. But she also wore them. They were knitted to, to match this, her own feet. And so she not only put them in installations, but there's photographs of her um, wearing, them. wearing these shoes. So again, that sort of line between art and life was always a little, always a little fading, always a little evanescent. So this one looks really interesting to me. Yeah, so this is an interesting piece. Um, and it's actually very, very complex because um, it arrives in the museum as the metal tray and the individual heads. But you actually pour the wax on site. Um, oh, on site. Yeah, yeah. So you have gallons and gallons of melted paraffin that, that got sort of poured into this in a very kind of complicated orchestration where we had um, we had about 12 preparators and two giant vats of hot paraffin on dollies going around being sort of poured in to try to keep it as level as possible. Um, and the, the, the base itself is a kind of, um, you know, it's like she's taking the concept of a pedestal and she always sort of plays with that concept of the pedestal mm -hmm. and she sort of turns it into a kind of semi-frozen lake. So again, yeah, there's that, like a kind of organic metaphor. Like yeah. All right, so this is the last uh, gallery in the show, and you're actually looking at the last work in the show. This one? Yes. So it was made in uh, 2010 for uh, a art, contemporary art space in France. Mm -hmm. um, and that space was actually a church that had been turned into a contemporary art venue. Mm -hmm. So this piece is sort of her version of, a, of an altarpiece, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of like a Madonna figure, an angel figure. Um, and it's the sort of scale that you might expect from a large uh, altarpiece panel or something, something like that, yeah. sort of a Renaissance, grand mm -hmm. Renaissance painting. Um, it's really interesting because there's the um, piece of uh, wood onto which the paper that the drawing is on is attached, but then in okay. front of it, there's this copper screen. And it's actually kind of an amazing thing because in pictures it's really hard to see, mm. but in person, um, and it lends this kind of incredible dimension and, and interest to the yeah. work. Yeah, it's like 3D. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It sort of makes it multidimensional, yeah. and it sort of so it takes it from a sort of two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional mm -hmm. object. And then it's capped off by these objects in front of it. These are old rail railroad ties, which she has repurposed. And then this little orb, which I think is you know meant to be sort of metaphor for the world. Um, or creation, or, or you know, the sort of the kind of creation or um, sort of spiritual beauty that an altarpiece might refer to, really. Um, and but that orb is is cast in wax from teacups in her kitchen. Mm. So not only is it a kind of metaphor mm. um, for the transformation of of the everyday into the kind of magical through mm. the work of art, it's also a bit of a period. It's sort of a punctuation mark that kind of marks the end of the show and and the. You know, sort of is the crowning moment of the piece. Today's program is over. The show 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 is over. 非常完整的作品的一个展示。那 Marie Summers 本人呢，现在是在意大利，九十一岁的高龄呢，仍然在在创作，所以我觉得这是非常激励人的一个故事。那有兴趣朋友一定要来 Hammer Museum 亲自来看一下这个 Marie Summers 的个人展呢、哦。感谢您收看本周的完美主义，我是主持人盛芳林思韵，我们下周再见。